Hi guys, so I'm just back from Build 2017 where we talked about all the cool new stuff that we've done for Windows 10 with Sonar. So uh, I have a brand new Surface dial uh, and I, I just wanted to show you like how cool this is uh, out of the box without any programming uh, with the Surface Pro. Uh, although this doesn't support placement on the screen on a Surface Pro, it's still very usable. So we're just going to talk about a few things about how you set this up. You, you basically set this up in Bluetooth settings as a Bluetooth device and it shows up here. And once you're set up as a Bluetooth device, you can go into wheel settings and configure, configure this to the dial to do whatever you want, want it to do on a per app basis. So I have it set up for Sonar Platinum. So let's take a look at how I've set it up. So I have four, four tools. So one is the transport tool, one is the horizontal zoom, one is vertical zoom, and one is control. And I'll show you in a minute how, how this works. So place the dial, I put the dial on the Surface Pro, and right now if you press this button, it's gonna allow you to pick whatever tool you wanna use. So I've picked transport. Once I've picked transport, notice I can move around the transport. So and seek around the transport really easily using this, while my other hand is free to do whatever I want to do. I have it mapped so that if I press the button, it stops and starts playback. Also notice that it's got uh, acceleration, so if I, if, I, if I switch this, it kind of moves fast, faster. It's pretty cool. So that's one operation. Let's look at the other tool. Here's horizontal zoom. So with horizontal to zoom selected, I can quickly like zoom in to a portion of my mix and start and stop playback. I mapped the, the, the button again to start and stop playback. Okay, the other tool which I have is zoom vertical, which allows me to zoom vertically here, just using the wheel. And finally, I have the control tool, which is really interesting, which allow, allows me to change parameters. So, so watch, I'm gonna, and now I'm using like two devices. I'm using the pen, the surface pen, and the, and the wheel. I click on a fader, and I can now move, change, change the volume with, with the wheel. So, so to, just to give you an example of another use of this, I use the pen and I use the wheel. Let's go back to the zoom tool. And I'll show you how this comes in pretty handy even when you're editing. Now let's say I'm using the, the pen to draw notes. Now I can really easily zoom in to a portion of, of my mix and find what I'm editing. It's pretty handy having two touch devices and, and of course I got the touch screen as well. So having all of this at your disposal is a pretty powerful tool. I think the wheel is really handy. Uh, even without any programming, we've, uh, it's still pretty use usable. That's it for now.